definite need of a change. Our oceans are dying, our breathable atmosphere is no longer the healthy lifeline that so many millions of animals depend upon to survive. Mankind has literally polluted his and her home to the point that our very own existence is in question. So far, we the public have been led to believe that our only viable choice of energy output is either coal, oil, or nuclear power. Now of course there's talk of wind power, solar power, hydrogen power, and even geothermal power. However, how many of us actually have the monetary resources to purchase, install, and maintain these alternative powers? The answer is not a lot. What we're about to show you is history in the making. One man, one vision, and one key player in the turning point of how we'll energize our planet from hence forth. The man's name is Darren. Darren owns a small marine welding company located in Tacoma, Washington. For the past several years, Darren has been busy putting together a device that most people believe the technology doesn't yet exist or that it's just outright impossible. What if you could convert your boat or automobile into something that didn't require fuel? No stops at the gas pump and no greenhouse gases or any type of planet crippling pollution. This vehicle would run on 100% electricity. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, okay, that's already been done. And of course, I would have to agree with you. Except for the fact that this particular electric engine has the ability to regenerate its own output power. Now you might ask, well, what does that mean? Simply put, it means you plug it in once to juice the battery, and then that's it. The battery thereafter regenerates its own power. Because we have a regeneration unit that we're in a that we're not releasing just yet, but we will very shortly, that will actually make electric power 100% feasible. Regeneration meaning, meaning that, that you, you, never, you out never run out of battery. You never run, so you plug it in one time, and what happens? You never plug it in after that. You That's just run. it. You just run. So you, you're saying that you have the technology to plug something in, start it running, and it just keeps running? Pretty much. Well, let's see what's going on. Pretty much. All right, so what are we going to be seeing here today? You're going to be seeing a boat test that's most awesome. You're going to see a boat leave here that's going to be ultra quiet. No exhaust gases, no nothing. And no warm-up times. Have to worry about the engine. There's no smell. There's no pollution. There's no nothing. It throttles and go, and that's it. That's all. <laughs> right. Ready. See? I'm ready. Let's go, Ames. Aim going out on you? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Gotta have a girl. Jump on it. Here's the lovely Amy. <laughs> We'll stand over here, we'll direct what's going on. Alright. Cool. Stop the boat. Total control. Total control. There's no end there's no boat motor that's now remember this boat weighs twenty eight thousand pounds. This boat is twenty eight thousand pounds. Twenty eight thousand pound boat right here. Look at it's doing. It's moving with ease. Like there is no tomorrow. Watch it go. Do you hear anything? I hear nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's right. All right. Look at how quiet that is. This glides right through the water. And that is costing nothing. Nothing. No money. No greenhouse gases. 
No pollution. No pollution. Watch no, your step. No stuff in the water. No stuff in the water. None of this garbage. Look at all this garbage here. It's left over from fuels and fossil garbage in, in the water from other boats. We call that in Puget Sound the Puget Sound grunge. Puget Look at the Sound oil. Grunge. Look at the oil. Absolutely. It's in the water right there. Absolutely. Those are pollutants that are in the water naturally around here because of the boats. Yeah, and you don't have to gag yourself when you're on the damn boat cruising on the water sucking in exhaust gases. About 400 pounds of batteries. About 400 pounds of batteries. Watch what happens. Now we're going to bring him out here. It's a nice turn. But we're going to get him out here in the center. And I'm going to have DC do a high speed maneuver. And you're going to see the thing damn near turn on his axis. He's going to do a high speed run. Watch this. Don't watch the boat. Don't watch me. Watch the boat. He's going to do a high speed run. Hey, DC! Go to stop and then go ahead and go to full power. Stop the boat. And we'll do a full power run right over here so he can see it actually accelerate and then how fast it accelerates. No gas, no nothing. This is complete electric coming. Yup. Nobody else has this technology that we do. People have all tried it. They've all just dumped in electric motors onto a boat or whatever. They're not the same. They get hot. Solomon's technology stuff catches fire. We have none of those problems. No, no, no. One hundred percent. Now, how long have you tried? I mean, how, how do you know that this is going to last? It's been in production for a year and a half. There it goes. There you go. Now you might hear a motor. That's that motor over there. That is that motor over there. Here. He's <laughs>